I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper. here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. You got a great review on the Wisconsin again. This time I've actually uh, got the ship through the Duckyard event, which you all got, you all can do it right now. I think it is still going, or maybe it may have just finished. I think it just finished because it's doing a D-Day event, but there's an, the next update of World of Warships is coming, but if you missed it, Wisconsin, the Duckyard event where you grind out a bunch of missions and everything uh, that allows you to unlock certain aspects of the uh, Dockyard build, and then you can get the Wisconsin as um, somewhat free. Uh, if you want to go back to my videos and other people's videos, you can spend doubloons of the starter packs, or you can complete missions, and you may have to pay a little bit of doubloons eventually to unlock the thing. It's not, I would, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's completely free, but you do get a West Virginia 44 out of it, and you get a Wisconsin, so... I think it was interesting. It was a great deal, uh, in my personal opinion, and uh, I really uh, didn't. I think I thought it was a little easier this time, uh, the dockyard mission. So I do appreciate that. But let's talk about the Wisconsin overall. The, the I would say uh, next class of the Iowa class ships that were really coming out, and I do enjoy it a lot. I, I really like the Missouri, like I guys told you about my previous reviews. I like the Missouri. Uh, like the Iowa. Uh, unfortunately, the Missouri and the Iowa, they're tier nine. They're not as heavy and bulky like you would like them to be as the ships. Look at that shot right there, long range. And uh, the downside of Wisconsin in tier 10 level is the, look at the HP. It's only 81,100. So, I mean, you guys can be your have your opinion on it about, well, should there be more health pull points, especially at tier 10? Uh, it's the same Iowa hole. It's the same you know, Missouri Hole, everything. Missouri's got the radar. Iowa's just a tier nine tech tree line, which anybody can grind and get. The only, the, big, the, the biggest difference about Wisconsin, as you can see, the two biggest thing is the, the Sigma and the accuracy of the guns. As you can see me shooting right there. Take a notice that uh, while I'm shooting, I'm, I'm uh, the, 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 I would say, chunkiness of the shells, the Sigma, the dispersion, everything is very laser focused. I almost want to say this is almost similar to maybe a Stalingrad Petro kind of field in my personal opinion because every time, every time I aimed at something it really was connecting on target and that's something I did enjoy uh, it really really is consistent so if I had to say anything overall the Wisconsin's great for consistency of the guns now they are four or six millimeter standard guns you only got nine of them and again my personal opinion I still think I like Montana over this better because you got 12 sets of guns so a lot I heard a lot of people say the DPM is not as high and effective as, as Wisconsin but then we'll get to the next point as you're going to see right here, me leading the target of this Yoshino here. Look at the concentration of those shells. The Sigma is allowing you to have that little bit more as it comes out of the barrel, more concentrated. Look at that. Bam. You get a lot of those right there, and you get some of that right there. So the AP I found is really very powerful at distances, long range, consistency, and it really connects. If you get those nice, accurate shots right on the bat, on the money, you can get those uh, great citadels for what you're trying to get and accomplish. And like right here, broadside, this is like a battleship's wet dream right here. Uh, he was turning away, so I aimed a little bit higher of his hole because I figured, hey, look at look at the minimap. His line is turning away, and we're taking 7,000 off him. And that shell, oh, that last one should have connected. Unfortunately, we get non-pins right there, but and maybe ricochets. So, yeah, the angles are, again, just like any other battleship thing. It's it's just a battleship. And, I've, and overall, I find the gameplay kind of boring, in my personal opinion. I mean, this is just long-range sniping sitting in the back how most Wisconsin players are playing because the meta of today and let me you know you guys let me know what you think uh, the meta of today it just doesn't allow pushing but look at this Yoshino I applaud him for pushing but unfortunately he's just going to get you know focused down and just uh, railed upon and it's really difficult especially when you got kiting away battleships and you got everybody shooting at you from all angles and all sides you got submarines going against you the destroyer play again I find that uh, I'm a DD main I find the destroyer gameplay role more engaging and more I would say um, impactful uh, as opposed to me just, again, look what I'm doing. I'm being forced to run to the back. That should have been some kind of detonation or Citadel shot right there. I don't know what happened there. Uh, yeah, again, he had angle. So, again, four and six millimeter guns. They're not very, uh, I would say, good at very aiming, uh, for, I'm sorry, angled uh, targets. Like I said, AP, angling, poonannies. If you angle against AP, you, they don't, they're not effective. Uh, you're going to see me switch to um, HE later to show that HE actually, I honestly think, is the even still just as powerful in the Wisconsin for more of these angled uh, for anything kind of situations and they do pack a punch they start a great deal of fires good armor penetration I mean let's take a look here the uh you can see high explosives here 68 millimeters 36 percent chance fire 406 millimeter guns and that's uh you know it's very good very powerful like for example right here 
this 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 um this gr uh, GK right here. Although angle, I could fire a bunch of HE into the superstructure here and would have started a lot of fires, and it's really good. But look at that AP right into him right there inside the superstructure, doing about ten to twelve thousand. So again, it's very very powerful. Now, what did I just activate right here? Here's the other gimmick. You guys have probably been reading or seeing about this. This is the immediate systems reload or the funny button F key, and the F key gives you basically that fifty percent reduction in reload time and eighty minus eighty percent in the consumable preparation. So all these right here will get a minus eighty percent reduction and it really comes in, uh, in handy when you really need to go in and push and get those the heals back the damage con back even the um shooting quickly you know you want a quicker reload again i don't know about the quicker reload thing i thought it would be kind of like burgone style in my personal opinion but the reload on my guns is right now is like 28.8 seconds 29 and you're cutting that in half it's still about a 14 15 second wait so I don't know, Bergeron does a better job of it, in my personal opinion, but that's me for the funny, the uh, reload booster kind of style gameplay. Uh, here's Submarine, Pesky Submarine. Here's a, a kind of a shot of the gameplay footage of depth charges. Notice I can't get the, the rectical of it because my graphics card is not updated or doesn't allow for that the driver uh, on a um, Parallels desktop. It doesn't allow me to update it, so I don't get that. Dodging torpedoes are there. Maneuverability, you can see as it is, just another battleship, just another Iowa kind of thing. It does travel a little faster. Nice 44, 34 knots. If you want to get brisk, you can go up to 36-ish. So still a quick battleship or uh, battleship for my personal taste. But the thing is, you're not really pushing speed running like a speedboat like you would do in the French battleship line because uh, the gameplay today, the meta is really sitting in the back. Like you see right here, we're just loitering in the, the background, waiting for things to die down. So then we can do these last minute pushes and allows you to get these, um, you know, I would say better engagements without getting melted down. Although we have the F key, I've, I've tell you, I've burned down so many Wisconsin's. Uh, so I know that Wisconsin, although there is an F key there, it doesn't uh, it still is, can get focused down and fo focus fired, and the DPM, the gun reload rate, just isn't there enough to fend off enough people. There are no secondaries. Don't build for secondaries, like everybody says. And here's a nice uh, Wisconsin turning in, like here. See if we can get a shot on them and see how much we take off with AP loaded, just the front two guns. Again, only six shells coming up, but still doing 9,800 damage. That is what you can do with two gun turrets up front, is this consistency. Uh, the aspect of it where you can nose and do a little bit better. I hit the F key right there. You notice my reload went down. Uh, the damage con, I needed that damage con heal coming off uh, cooldown. I got the damage con back, and now we're really just kind of figuring out what are we going to shoot at. The guy with the Burgonia on the right, I think it does a better job of a reload booster, in my personal opinion, like I said. Now we're going to go ahead and neck and neck with the Wisconsin here. And uh, let's see if we can also do submarine and shooting battleships at the same time. So right here, look, we got a depth charge on the submarine. Look at that shot right there. Very good, accurate, consistent guns right there. And boom, look at that, 16,000 off the of Wisconsin. So again, very, very powerful. Again, if you push in like this other Wisconsin is doing, you're just going to get you know mowed down, as you can see again with any battleship and play style. Now, the accuracy is also good for shooting, I would say, uh, destroyers if you can get load HE and have situational awareness enough to know that. Look at that. Getting spotted by a destroyer, getting pinged by a submarine, getting shot out by a ba battleship. This is World of Warships up today. Notice the gun turrets are pretty decent with the, the correct commander on there, and you build for it uh, for your uh, consumable, or sorry, your con command modules, whatever it's called. Boom, we synced the Wisconsin right there. Again, he would have died anyways. He's got 6,000 help. Uh, what I meant when to say the turret reverse, if you build for it, you can get these turrets to swing uh, decently fast. And, you know, not unbearable, but uh, good enough for what you need to do. And let's see if we can get this last, uh, like just a random shot. I have no idea where that's going. I'm just clicking in the direction of the sonar pings. Hopefully we get a good kill right there. And we get Burgonia. Burgoyne, Burgonia. I, just, I don't know how to say it correctly. I'm just saying it. And we take a nice long shot. Oh, get the submarine L splash too. 146,000 damage, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm getting used to this aiming right here. Little wonky shells. They're not as like Stalingrad-ish, like laser rail guns. So they have the accuracy, just not good ballistics and shell arcs like I would like it to. They come out of the barrel just like standard. Let's see what kind of what's the speed of these bad boys. Uh, they don't tell you. They have to go look at the the uh, filters, but. Anyways, uh, running away, but this game is pretty much won, and it took me a while to get a really good game going right here because, I mean, the nature of World of Warships with CV subs and everything, it's really difficult to push up like this, and, and you're just going to get mowed down like normal. So, again, look at my health. It's still down. I'm getting focus fired here, even just by Burgonia or DD. And uh, the nature of the game is it, this thing is good for sitting in the back, uh, and it does a very good accuracy sigma. It's got the F key if you do like to you know, survive in the long run. But that's what I've used, seen it used for, really just surviving and maybe getting that occasional quicker reload. But really the pushing aspect, no secondaries, no armor, no really good um, way of mitigating that damage in per se. 
um, outside of just the F key, and you got to really uh, hit enough times to get that to recharge down. If you don't shoot enough targets and hit something, it will begin to tick back down, and you have to start all over again. So that that bar to fill up does take, you know, about I believe uh, Euro said about 26 to 29 shots on target. So that way it could recharge, and, and, and that's pretty much it. That's the gameplay I saw. Do I recommend the ship? Absolutely. I think it's fun for Battleship players. There's very consistent uh, guns. I think it's what people are asking for in that aspect. Uh, me, personally, I still think I like the Montana, Ohio kind of play style better. Uh, 81,000 HP, just not enough for Tier 10. In my personal opinion, I wish there was a little bit more. Um, at Tier 10, why don't they just... It's just a number thing. Why don't they just give it a little bit more health? But I think because of the funny keys there, they do give it that aspect. Uh, number one in the team right there, getting a good shot. Dreadnought, yeah, surviving Dreadnought, basically... Uh, what it is it's surviving receive a damage of about at least 120 percent of your ship again that this is exactly why the the people choose wisconsin a lot is accurate guns that can and this thing can survive a lot but not brawling survival i mean i'm talking about just really one-on-one -on -one, one to two on uh two versus one engagements where you're, you're kind of just loitering around the cab maybe loitering in the back and you're just trying to survive and mitigating those fires and, and shots but this thing is like a long range good sniper and good shots good shooting and uh, for what we're able to do with it, I mean, 148,000 on the main battery guns, very, very good, very accurate, like I said, consistent. And survivability, got potential damage, 1.3. I've seen people get it up to 3 to 4 million. So uh, I've seen a lot of these guys uh, use them in clan battles and competitive. So I've seen a couple there. It's a hit or miss because of what the nature of the style of competitive is today. Uh, maybe they're looking for more DPM. Uh, the survivability aspect is okay in competitive. I, I've, I've seen guys do it, but... For me, personal opinion, uh, I like this game for randoms. It's a good ship. I wouldn't pick it for competitive, but more for random style, just gameplay, just having fun, shooting in the backs. If you just kind of want to lazily sit in the back and shoot, uh, that's kind of what the nature of the gameplay is. Um, I'll throw up a uh, picture of the um, the uh, build of the uh, the Wisconsin of how I built it. More for, uh, more for survivability, concealment. Concealment's great. You can get it down to 12.6. Um, or I believe it's 12.6. Yeah, 12.6-ish uh, around that area. Uh, very good for a battleship. I mean, normally you see them, uh, people out there 13 to 14 out there. So very good. Uh, decent speed, good concealment, accurate guns. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not dogging it. So I wish it was a little bit stronger per se, maybe health-wise. Give it a little bit more, maybe to 90, 95,000, 100,000 range. And uh, that's my take on that. So here's the build right here. Just, you know, basic survivability, taking a little bit longer longer range and the secondary range for just really, ba that's really all you can take in my perspective for mod three. And then of course, accuracy in mod six. And uh, that's just the basic build for any battleship, my perspective on the American side to get that accurate uh, gun uh, aspect of the, uh, the, the Wisconsin. And then here you go. Um, I didn't put Halsey on it. You can put Halsey. Halsey would give you that. If you get Confederate, you can get a little bit of better reload time. Turret Traverse, switching main battery guns, adrenaline rush, basic survivability, get that extra heal and the concealment. Concealment, again, get in and down to 12.6 just is really good. And then, of course, fire prevention. As you saw in the previous video, I, I mean, it was really difficult to set me on fire. And when I did, I could just, you know, wait and let it burn. If I get a second fire, I'll put the heal up, damage con, and boom, F key. You got the funny key to bring it back. So... What is my take on it? Honestly, um, uh, I'll have to say it is, it's fairly decent. Uh, it still gets burned down in today's meta and what Battleship doesn't. So I, I'm not going to give it a superb rating. I still give this, you know, a very good, hey, this is worth the grind. Have fun with it. I still enjoy Wisconsin. I think it's a very, uh, very accurate Battleship for what it can do and uh, what the ask, and what you're asking for in uh, an American Iowa, really. But again, it's just it's really nice to have that Battleship. I really like it. It's a good Iowa class Battleship to collect, have fun with, and enjoy. Again, I'm a Destroyer main, so I'm, re I'm really kind of biased towards the Destroyer side. But uh, for Battleship players, yeah, I think you'll definitely enjoy it. And I uh, hope you guys got it in the event. Hopefully they bring it back. And as always, thank you guys for supporting the channel, making this a better community, learning something from it, and having fun at the same time. If you guys see me out there, say hi. And as always, you guys take care and be safe. Cheers.